In the last part, I did some odd jobs for Nigel West Dickens and Seth. They're both ready to help out John get into Fort Mercer now. But we still need Irish on board. He's gonna... If I remember correctly, Nigel West Dickens said that he would help with firepower or weapons or something like that. So we're gonna go do a mission for him in just one second. I also did a live stream uh, since I last played. Didn't really do much other than just a few side missions though, so nothing really to cover there. Anyway, here Irish is and here his mission is. A Frenchman, a Welshman and an Irishman. Yes, boy, oh, you missed a properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy. Oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. <laughs> Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> Won't you mind your own goddamn oh. business? Take out French and Welsh. Alright, then that's sad. Nicely done, lad. Now come help me up, will you? Well, maybe we disarm them or something, but... Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All right, let's get a machine gun. That let's should get help. This over with. The saloon's calling me. <laughs> this is turning into a hell of a day. Company Irish, okay. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. It's a choke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never oh. trust a Welshman, we he always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast oh. in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. I want to know. He was saying, oh, he didn't sound French. I wanted to hear the explanation for that. But for some reason, he's going so fast, we didn't even get to hear the dialogue. I don't even know what he's talking about now. But, uh... Yeah, no offence to anyone watching this who happens to be Welsh, or French, or even Irish. Just putting that out there. He's <laughs> you best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, oh, I've met good. enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Why are we going so fast? I apologize to the speed this is going at. Like, it feels like they skipped over all the dialogue there because he's just racing forwards. Easy. Oh well. You can make quick 
work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Uh, this looks doable anyway. Might even be able to use stealth for some of it. Unlikely, though. You ain't welcome here, mister. Move along. <laughs> you spotted me quickly. Back off now before I put a... Who the hell... Easy enough, though. You ain't nothing but a bunch of women! Let's see what you got. Alright, nearly done now. Kind of want to loot the bodies, so. Search for cabbing for the machine gun. Okay, one moment. We're just gonna go Seth for now and uh, loot these bodies. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's another one. I think he's got a shotgun, too. Oh! <laughs> Just plopped right in the water. Okay. Um, I guess I should have said earlier, but John can't swim. Go there for a second, he is done. What the hell? What the hell? We got a better drop on them, I suppose. Not set back too far, are we? He's getting closer. Okay, easy enough. <laughs> Let's be careful losing that body and moving back, because uh, he can't be in that water for even a second. Got a so Oh yeah, I got this from a Gan hideout in my last stream. Got about that. It was Pike spacing, I think. Die, you son of a bitch. Ooh. Even this up a bit. We won't slide down there this time. Search a cabin for the machine gun. I bet it's not even here. It's not here. That lion sack <laughs> of shit. Would have been a little too easy to just kill a couple of men and then have a big machine gun in there, wouldn't it? Oh well. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go and uh, catch up with him. I'll make a cut in editing about now. Here we are at Benedict Point, back where Irish is. And I think he, have, he might have some explaining to do. Right, let's pay him a visit. Man is born unto trouble. Whoa. <laughs> uh, he's just... Where are you? Oh, who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. 
Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> don't think that was the deal, really. It happens and... to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I want to buy you a drink. I want to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. Come on, then. We'll find your precious gun. Maybe we can go a bit quicker than that. <laughs> we can, he's not gonna though. Gia! I love me faithless flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you Irish? <laughs> me? No! Right, this raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Again, it really feels like they're cutting off the uh, dialogue somehow. Like he was explaining, you know, oh, I saved you, I this, that, and then, boom, just suddenly he's... They're on to here. I feel like they've uh, made the rides too short for the dialogue almost. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. So it's a big camp here. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Well, we're going You're right in. State your business and move along. You can use Deadeye to take out multiple targets quickly. Enter Deadeye and sweep across there over these two guards. Bit late to tell me that now. I mean, I've already Open killed a lot of people, but uh, we'll just do that. Anybody else? What's he doing? I ain't 
Okay. Do you want to die? I guess we must have shot his gun or something by accident. Anyway, we got a lot more shooting now. Also, I apologize if my voice is a bit off. I was up pretty late last night, collecting about 200 pumpkins in GTA. Don't ask me why. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was a late night. I shoot him through that. Oh. You couldn't really pick worse cover than a tent. I mean, Bullet will go clean through that, but not in this game. Oh, God. There we go. Not too hard. Oh no, there's a few more. I think there's another body back here. It might seem a bit pedantic to loot them all, but they uh, could have good valuables on them. Right, now we're at the mine. Look for the Gatling gun in the mine's core. Okay. Oh. That one didn't go up in flames. One of these is going to catch someone eventually. Oh, hold on, that's... Uh, yeah! There we go. Rather him than me. There's two paths there. There's a shorter one, it looks like, and a longer one. We're gonna go the long way. Left fork. Four is here, but it's blocked. Alright, we'll go the long one then. Or we could blow that up. That might work. No. All right, not a problem. Forgive me, friend. Again, the core is conveniently blocked. We got a long way. I might shoot that down on me. I might shoot that down on that. Oop. Shouldn't sit near that.
Then this is a lift he was talking about. Possibly, anyway. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> Never mind. Let's sort of them out. This ain't nice. I didn't even know they were there at first. This little bit looks suspicious. None of that's hitting it for some reason. Oh, there we go. These explosives are helping a lot. Nearly there. Oh. Son of a bitch! Where are they all coming from? I actually thought that was a barrel there, or an explosive. Yes, I am a gunman. In a moment we will inspect the minecart, like they say. Just gonna do some looting. I bet the thing isn't even there. I don't know, at least part of it is. Now that looks like the full deal. I want to loot, though. Alright, we'll just... I think that's all of them. Probably be more enemies. How do we get that out the way? <laughs> so stupid. Ah. Okay, we're, we're doing that the wrong way, obviously. Push it to the shaft room. I don't know if this is the right way I'm gonna... I'm just going to try this.
I thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up the slip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. <laughs> There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down there. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. All right, more pushing that. But we've got enemies this time. Just run off home. Don't think I can loot them. We're going to stay on this. Oh, that's not so bad. I thought there'd be more. What did I tell you? Piece of cake! Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. A lot of fame for that. Now, I don't really get this. Because I'm seeing there's a mission for Irish right there, but we've already got the machine guns, so what more do we need of him, really? And where is he? Is he over there? I don't know, all the way over here. Well, I don't know how this works out, but that is the next mission, so I'm going to make a cut and editing, and I will be there, yeah, in a moment. I've gone all the way to Thieves Landing for what seems to be another mission for Irish. Uh, not sure why, but uh, yeah, this place is pretty aggro, so let's quickly get this done. On Shaky's up, ground. Sister. Put them up. Oh. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh sure. Blimey. But I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh. oh. oh Mr. Marston. Oh. How are you? A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, a Gallon gun doesn't uh, work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? I'm afraid my wife wouldn't appreciate it, ma'am. What are you looking at? Oh, what no. What you looking at? Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricks in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. 
Guns be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Yo, brain gone, boss. Where are we going, Irish? Nobody that just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. Brain, I'm telling you, Johnny boy, room. it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Should we open now? Damn it. That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I don't know why we have to go at this pace. I mean, could move a little I'm quicker than that. You're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drip. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. All right, what's going on there? Shaky's made oh. the arrangements and he'll... Right. Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an old time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that shaky. Again! <laughs> All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get right. the wagon he ready. He did say sneaking, so... Oh, climb the ladders. Walk slowly or crouch to avoid detection. Sneaking through the window. Ah, all right. What was that? Oh. Gonna have to get aggressive at some point, isn't it? I mean, when I drop down there, that's gonna make some noise. Or not. You know what? It might be safer to leave him. I'm gonna give you Jesse good and hard. Now we can't take out all them quietly, can we? Oh, 
We can try. Oh, no. Right, this is where it gets aggressive and... dead man my kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend irish let me down and you'll be a dead man oh this is gonna be one, one, one hell of a fight all right let, let, let's get out of here while we got the chance oh, that's that what you do. Damn. fuck last chance to walk away Why is he not taking cover? Come on! There's only two of us! Alright, just gonna dead eye spam. Not sure what was in that chest. Uh. I'm gonna kill you, then rob you. Shit, shit, man. Let's get the hell out of these towers. That's better. Is that some explosives? There we go. Sure, he wasn't doing all the stammering in the uh, first card scene, but yes, he is. Right. Quite good for getting them when they pop up. No need to die, you know, they pop up for just a second and gives you the time. Get out of here, all of you! Follow him to the machine gun ammo. That sounds good about now. Um, Keep up with me, darn it. Oh. Oh, no. so I've got my shooting pants. Next time, you fool should run away. This looks like it. Yeah. Now we're even. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f f f f fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Fuck. All right, hop on. I'll get us out of here. This is a bad place to be idling, Helen. 
Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gonna drape the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Why don't we set up a machine gun? Alright, I don't think we're following around, she's that far from her, so shouldn't be too long. Still, we got a big machine gun in the back, and... Jesus, we really rough with the feathers back there! Here come my damn bastards! I don't like this, Merston. My heart's beating like a bloody drum! Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Get that feather on the bridge. You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend. Choice is somebody wants that ammunition real bad. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Well, our twins outfit menu entry updated. I something or the other must have happened. Uh... Anyway, there is one more mission. This time it doesn't seem to be for Irish, Seth, or Nigel West Dickens. No, this time it's an M, Marshall Johnson. And it's right outside Fort Mercer. So I guess we're going to attack that. But I'm going to leave that for the next part. If you want to see that, it'll be in the bottom right of the end screen coming up about now.